of this co-pairing and identity uh, to construct a co-multiplication. Is it okay? I mean, of, of course, you can equivalent as there is some in equivalent definition of, of, but you usually need you kind of three structures to, to relate the other structure. I mean, one might try to define Rabinus algebra by using three other kind of structures. Okay. okay. So now we want to see, uh, kind of, so the, the three day TQFTs. So what we want to take is a construct map from what is called the, uh, from a, so a given modular tensor category. Which is now I see, we want to construct uh, Three D T Q F T Z C. Okay. So uh, yeah. So I, I I don't have much time to to go into details of the kind of more M T C structure on a category, but uh, so this will require probably a separate course. So let me very briefly mention what this uh, M T C what kind of uh, basic M T C data. And uh, so first, uh, th there is a following statement. So MT an MTC uh, can be understood as a, as a, as a, is a, rib a ribbon category with, uh, so is a, Semi simple <coughs> ribbon category with a finite number of uh, simple objects and uh, a non degenerate S matrix. So I, now, I, of course, I need to decode what this uh, statement means. So, so what is the ribbon category? So again, I, I'm not going to uh, go into very detailed definition. So a ribbon category is a uh, is an abelian. And moreover, it's a linear uh, over C. So roughly speaking, linear also means that all homes are vector spaces over C. So abelian means there is, a, uh, there is always a well-defined kernel and co-kernel in the category. Uh, so is, is, is abelian monoidal And moreover, we can, there is a notion of direct sum and kernel and co-kernel. Monoidal, this means that there is a uh, tensor product, which now it's uh, important that it's not symmetrical. And uh, uh, such uh, some with, uh, with uh, additional uh, structure, which, uh, so let me kind of write, write, write it in words, and then I will explain, explain what this means, which uh, allows to define 
invariance of uh, framed <coughs> links uh, via the braid representations. So let me, uh, so I'll explain what this, uh, uh, so this is actually the, the reason of the, of, the, of the name ribbon, because, uh, uh, so you, as I mentioned, you can send frame links as kind of as ribbons, linked ribbons. And uh, so to explain this uh, additional structure, so it's, uh, it's useful to introduce, uh, in the inter introduce a diagrammatic approach where, uh, which essentially can be related to, to some uh, brain representation. So braid representation of the of, of, of link. So, so we have the following diagrammatic rules. Uh, so first of all, if I if I have uh, uh, so if I have a part of the diagram which looks like this, we have a bunch of uh, lines here. Uh, so this is the, uh, so all lines will be colored uh, so they are colored by objects of my category C. And uh, here there will be some objects. Yeah. And uh, so I can introduce uh, uh, so I can send lines as a, as a, as a kind of parts, uh, as a strands of, uh, fra of some framed links. And A, I can send, so I can send uh, the whole picture kind of embedded into R3. Uh, in and I can send this thing as a some sort of a rectangle, as also called a coupon sometimes. And so for this, uh, for this picture, I will, so the A means, uh, so if I have something here, this something here can be also the element of uh, home from tensor product of uh, object associated to strands below. Uh, to uh, tensor product of objects which color the strands above. Okay. Uh, now, so if I have a, uh, so if I have a, just nothing here, nothing here, so I start with some object V and uh, just draw a line, this means uh, uh, that there is a, uh, this corresponds to, uh, to the identity uh, morphism from V to V, and uh, now the other rule is that so the one part of the of the of this ribbon structure is that every object has a uh, has a dual has a well-defined dual, and uh, so if I draw something like this, this is equivalent uh, this is equivalent to uh, drawing. Uh, the line in the opposite dire dire direction and uh, changing color, changing this object, coloring the strand to its dual. And uh, so, so another uh, part of the of the ribbon structure is uh, there is a well-defined uh, uh, th 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 there is a choice of the, of, of the map from V tensor V to uh, uh, identity object, so this is identity with respect to monoidal structure, and it's represented by this diagram. Again, so if you have, uh, so if you have no strands here, so no strands means uh, we assign the identity object. 
Okay, and there are also a choice of the homomorphism from identity object to V tensor, v, v star tensor V, which corresponds to the following diagram. Diagram. So we start with uh, V tensor W and we end up with W tensor V. So this should be a map uh, from V tensor V to V tensor W to W tensor V. And this is denoted by R V W. And it should satisfy. Uh, Should satisfy a braiding relation. So particularly if I draw a picture like this. I consider a certain brain braid where I start with U, V, and W, and uh, I, and I can. So this corresponds uh, to a certain uh, combination, so a certain composition of uh, morphisms R and uh, identity here. So here, uh, R U U V. Then I and here I apply identities, here I apply identity on the on the tensor program, and here I apply R V W sorry uh, R U W and here I apply R uh, R V W tensor identity. This should be the same as a morphism corresponding to a, to a different diagram. So I'm not gonna write explicitly, but this gives us a certain, so this also, uh, provides a certain, this, this diagram, according to the rules, provides a, a certain, uh, certain morphism from UV, then UVW to a tensor product of W, uh, V, and U, and they should be the same. So this gives, gives a, uh, a certain equation on R matrix, which is usually called young Baxter. Equation on R, or oh, sometimes R calls uh, uh, braiding matrix. So this is uh, essentially. So if we, uh, okay. But note that in, 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 there is no there is no relation which uh, tells us that this should be the same as this. So uh, so if you construct uh, using this data, we construct invariants of framed links, not unframed links. And uh, and. Uh, any questions? So, I mean, how do we, uh, so, so can, using the structure, we can construct invariants of uh, frame links. So by, uh, by considering that, uh, 
So if, if, I, if, if I have a frame link, I can start reading it in some, in, 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 in some direction and uh, so, and, and apply, so links uh, color it by objects. So how do I do this? I can, I, so if, if, I, if I take a frame link and I start reading it using these rules, I obtain some morphism from identity object to identity object. This is a home, home one, two, one. And this is where, so in, in simple cases, this is just isomorphic to C, and we just get a co complex wallet invariant. Okay, so this was a review of the ribbon structure on a category. Now we, we, mo we want to, uh, so the, the modular tensor category structure is, uh, we want uh, to assume some additional conditions. So as I mentioned, uh, the first, so we first require that the, uh, the category is uh, semi-simple, and uh, so any object for any, this means uh, for any, uh, Object V in uh, 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 there is a, we can decompose it into a direct sum, maybe with some multiplicities of uh, simple objects. So this is a space of, uh, this is a set which is a finite, finite. So this is another assumption of the modular category, modular, modular tensor category, finite set. Uh, of uh, simple objects, which we, we consider them up to isomorphism. Okay, and uh, then uh, uh, there is a, one can define what is called unnormalized uh, S matrix. Uh, so it's defined, so, uh, so let me, uh, so also let me mention the following statement. So uh, there is the following statement that, uh, so if we consider uh, homes uh, from a simple object to itself, then it's uh, isomorphic. So all homes, they are just proportional, all possible homes, they are, they are proportional just to identity. And this is a result of the, uh, k uh, of the Schur lemma and uh, the homes from uh, different symbol objects, uh, they're trivial. So in particular, so if we, uh, so the S matrix uh, are normalized, so it's denoted by tilde, is uh, uh, defined as follows. So I consider this uh, uh, this diagram. So for this diagram, I I, according to the rules above, I, I should associate the the map for, uh, the home from identity object to itself, which is uh, uh, from this. So identity object is a, is also a, a simple object. So it's just a complex number. And uh, so this is a, so I, I can assemble this. The elements, uh, so I, col I color the, so I consider Hopflink with uh, components colored by simple objects V i and V j, and the result is a complex number. And this, I say this is a matrix element of a matrix S tilde. And uh, uh, the condition of the modular category is it uh, should be, this matrix it should be non-degenerate. In particular, I can I, I should be able to inverse it. Questions? 
Okay, so it's useful to introduce some other, uh, some other things, uh, notation. So if I consider just a uh, not colored by the I, Uh, so then this also gives me a homomorphism from one from from identity object to identity, and again this is a, just a complex number by the same argument as before, and uh, these numbers are called uh, quantum dimensions. Of simple objects, and uh, the also notion of of T matrix, which is defined, which is a, a diagonal matrix uh, with components uh, defined as follows. So if I consider uh, a diagram like this, so this should be, uh, this should provide me a home from VI to VI. And again, uh, from the sure lemma, it follows that this should be just a, a it, sh it, sh it, sh it, sh it should be just uh, identity uh, times some number, and this number I will denote by ti. So I c es essentially this means that I can always, say if I have this piece colored by vi, I can replace it by uh, this piece with uh, factor ti. And uh, so another, so it's also useful to introduce the following quantities. So D, it will be a sum of square, square root of sum of squares of quantum dimensions, where I runs over the set of simple objects, and uh, also kind of normalize this matrix without a tilde, which is given by just rescaling of this guy by D. Okay, so now we are ready to construct uh, TQFT uh, associated from this data. Uh, so, for, so let's, so let me take sigma g to be a Riemann Uh, surface of uh, genus G. And uh, so let me understand this Riemann surface as follows. So let me consider a rectangle and a bunch of uh, oriented strands attached to this rectangle. And uh, then uh, my Riemann surface of G, so the, the, their number the number of rectangles will be G, and my Riemann surface I understand as a boundary of a handle body which is obtained by thickening this picture. Okay, and uh, so first uh, I need to say what is the, uh, so what is this, uh, uh, the TQFT functor assigns to a Riemann surface of genus G. So the statement is that uh, the value on sigma G is, can be understood as a space of homes from identity object to a, a tensor product of G copies of the following sum, where I take a sum of uh, simple objects of uh, tensor product of vi, tensor vi star. So for example, if uh, for a sphere, this will be just a uh, home from one to one, which is uh, just c. And, and the other simple example is uh, for a torus, genus one, it's a uh, space of homes from one to the sum, and 
the store. And, uh, but this is, of course, is just a direct sum of uh, homes from VI to itself, because uh, here we have a dual, the maps from identity to VI and the VI, VI dual is the same as the, ho uh, the, the homes from VI to VI. And uh, so each of these guys is just isomorphic to C from the Schulim. So we have, uh, in particular, we have so the dimension of the vector space uh, associated to T2 is uh, just the number of simple objects in my category. Okay. And now I need to, uh, I need to define, so if I have a, uh, so let's, uh, M3, take uh, M3 to be a, a Bordism from uh, sigma G1 to sigma G2 to, to a pair of Riemann surfaces with genera G1 and G2. So, uh, so this means I need to give you, this can be also the, as a, uh, as a map from home from one to, uh, so let me, don't repeat this. So this, uh, the, this, the parenthesis means these expansions, this expression, then the, uh, uh, then the product of G1 copies to homes from one to, then the product of G2 copies. And, uh, so I can, uh, so just, uh, so I have to end soon, but let me, let me just briefly finish what I wanted to, to say. And uh, so this can be understood as, uh, so if I take A, uh, so the, the, this, uh, this map can be absolutely, uh, can, can, be, can be completely determined if I take A, so I have to take A, some element uh, in, uh, in the first space. And uh, B to be an element in the dual uh, to the second space, but making dual is uh, equivalent to just swapping these two guys around. And then I, so then uh, what I need is, uh, so for any A and B, I want to calculate the value of that ZC of M3 related on A, and then pair it with an element uh, of the dual space to this one. And this can be, uh, so this is realized as follows. Just, sorry, I'm out of time, but uh, let me just finish this. Okay. So I, I uh, do, do I have uh, like three minutes? Okay. And, uh, So let me, so what I want to do, I want to replace uh, replace this, uh, so I have some Bordism, M3 to uh, between Riemann surfaces. Oh. Genus G, G2 and G1. So what, what I want to make this, uh, I want to construct, a, from this I want to construct a, a, a closed manifold. And I, I want to do this by gluing, the, gluing in the, the handle bodies which appeared before. And those handle bodies, which can be understood as thickening of uh, 
of these uh, rectangles, uh, rect rectangles uh, which I wrote here. So imagine gluing, gluing in to copy uh, to, uh, like uh, this thing for G, G1 and G2. So this gives me some, uh, uh, this, this, this can be, uh, this gives me some three money, the closed, closed uh, three manifold with uh, uh, coupons embedded. By coupons, I mean these rectangles with attached strands. And this can be realized, can be realized by surgery, uh, which I write here. So the surgery, so the same approach, we, we do the same approach uh, as before, but uh, so the surgery will look as follows. So instead of uh, just a link, I have a link with uh, uh, with some coupons, and of course we can have uh, this link and can the components of the link can uh, can also link uh, with uh, with some strands uh, connecting the coupons, and uh, uh, so I can see that this picture. And uh, so I, I assign the value A and B here, and this gives me a map from identity uh, object to identity object, which is a complex number. And uh, if I, I mean, if I, if I, if I color, if I color uh, all my strands by some, by some simple by some simple objects, and the result. So this, uh, this expression is given by the following. So I do a sum over all, uh, all colors for strands. And so this is essentially the same formula as for WRT environment. And I have a product of a link uh, components. And uh, for each link, um, uh, Component I, I write d color uh, and I do this factor d color divided by d two. So let's say a is a link component color of a. Okay, okay I'm s I stop here. Sorry. I'm going out. Questions? Yes?